James Kaufman, World News Report today, April 25th, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. NASA says an interplanetary shockwave hit Earth yesterday. An interplanetary shockwave struck Earth's magnetic field on April 24th at 7.15 UTC time. What is an interplanetary shockwave? It's an abrupt change in the solar winds, probably from a CME that we did not realize was coming. But no one can really explain this latest hit. I personally believe it was a shockwave created from something besides our sun that is within our own galaxy. I did see yesterday that we had hard pressure on the night side of Earth with no bow shock or real pressure on the front side or Earth-facing side of Earth, the direction Earth's moving. But again, did see, well, extreme pressure on the night side of Earth. Very, very strange. The opposite side where you would think you would see pressure Thus, it was an ebbing effect, and without a bow shock, there can be no ebbing effect. You'll see the impact time period right here. We had plasma shoot up from 1 or 2 to about 15, and we had solar winds uh, start the day at 600 and move back up just above 600 during this impact that they want to talk about. But... For whatever reason, this did not register as a geomagnetic storm. And again, I believe it came from behind Earth, not the direction the sun is in. Now, they said that auroras were sparked in New Zealand and Colorado. But no global geomagnetic storm was expected or detected. So this is why they thought they must address this. Because of the strong auroras, I guess NASA and NOAA said they best speak up and give their take on what exactly happened. We're also not expecting any additional geomagnetic storms per the agencies, but my review of the data says we are looking for some plasma, a CMA, perhaps later today or tonight or into tomorrow, which was created by one, if not more, of the M-class solar flares that were Earth-facing, the ones that have popped off over the last three or four days. So, as you can see, here's the NOAA KP Index Breakdown Forecast for today. All ones and twos for tomorrow, all twos, and the following day we go up to a four, nowhere near a geomagnetic storm. That is over the next three days. Now, I am going to tell you all that I believe that we are going to hit, uh, be hit by a geomagnetic storm later today or into the 26th. And yes, even with the millions of dollars invested in our new Space Weather Prediction Center and the tens of millions being invested in the new building for NOAA, they blew this one as well tomorrow, yesterday being the 24th. They have plasma down here. Uh, well, it goes up to about 7, but we saw that it went up to 15, twice as high. No interplanetary shock there. And then, of course, solar winds on the 24th were closer to 600 all day. And they have them down here at about 350. A real fail, as usual. God bless you guys. Please share. And subscribe, expect a geomagnetic storm in the form of plasma in the next 48 hours. And always remember that anything's possible in bizarro world.